so hello and welcome friends uh, so in this video we are going to see uh, how to load our data in ionic 4 and uh, using uh, local json and remote json and uh, if we have any spring boot rest api then how to load data from spring boot api also so let me show you that like i'm go i have used here uh, tabbing in ionic so we'll go one by one uh, for this how to load local and remote json or spring boot rest api json so in this video we are going to use a visual studio uh, for the coding and all and uh, we have sts where our rest apis is running so uh, like this we have tab one page tab two page and tab three page and uh, here we have our uh, rest apis always running so let's start uh, one by one uh, like uh, how to do the loading JS uh, json data from the local or remote and uh, sp so spring rest api so as you can see here in asset folder i have added one json file also this is my data json dot json file which will load a data from the local and uh, for remote uh, server like uh, i'm going to use this one thing like just uh, this json placeholder type p code dot com and uh, slash user so it will give me the list of 10 user with having some details so we are going to use this for the remote rest api sorry remote json local json i have just shown in an asset directory and spring boot api like uh, we have already running our service uh, rest api in spring boot and uh, we are getting the data in uh, input data in json format and we are using we are showing in our ionic form so let's start 